everybody. Hi, it's Becky from Power Tools with Thread. How you guys doing? I have had a very long day at work, but I'm teleworking, so I didn't have far to drive. <laughs> it's bad humor, I know. Okay, so today I was able to stitch out uh, some snowballs, or snowball faces, we'll go with that. Today is April 7th, 2020, and I wanted to let you guys know that today is the last day that you can go out to embroiderygarden.com and use the coupon code PTWT15, that's Power Tools with Thread 15, to get 15% off these little guys here. See these snowballs? There are six different sets. It's got a little streak through it, I got it wet. Eh, it's been raining. There are six different sets of snowballs and I have set two and set six. So I am in the middle of making a total of 30 of these snowballs because I'm making them for my three grandchildren, my son and his wife, and six each, so there's 30. So I wanted to show you today what I did and how I got done. I am using, this is the big 10 by 16 hoop on the Brother Luminaire. Look how big this is, you guys. This thing's huge. You can like crawl through it. I literally have done that. So I wanted to show you what I had done. I've got a, a cutaway stabilizer in here and what I did was multiple. So this is set number two and snowball A, which is the first, you know, uh, snowball in the set. You sew together two, the little orange peel pieces. This is a three millimeter felt. I cut them out using the Brother Scan and Cut and then I did the embroidery. I took the file, I loaded it into Embrilliance Essentials, and then I did a color sequencing and stitched it all out. Let's talk about that. A lot of you have asked me about Embrilliance, and Embrilliance is an embroidery software that works with just about every embroidery machine that's out there. Your embroidery machine is going to do what the stitch file tells it to do. And in Brilliance is it's a whole suite of different pieces of software and let's say you're really new at embroidery and you're not real sure and you just really want to do the basics like for instance uh, designs by Juju that's a really really great site and you can go out to designs by Juju and they have these really cool little um, they're called birth announcements And there's all different kinds of birth announcements and they, they have the baby's name and the date and the weight and all of that kind of stuff and their length. And you can go out and, and you buy the template from Designs by Juju and then you would load it into Embrilliance and inside Embrilliance is where you customize the baby's name and the weight and, and the length and the time and the date and all of that, okay? And Brilliance is great if you have embroidery files that can be edited. Um, if you are using files mostly like Kimberbell, okay, you probably won't edit a Kimberbell file. Or if you have something from OESD, other than changing the colors, you probably won't edit an embroidery file a whole lot from OESD. There's a lot, a lot of different sites out there that you can get embroidery files. But in Brilliance is great to be able to edit existing embroidery files that you get because that's a lot of fun to do. What I used in Brilliance for on this particular project is to do what I call what is called color sequencing. And on this project, there are a total of five colors that are in the embroidery file. We don't worry about the last one because that is used just to kind of tell the embroidery machine, okay, we're all done. Okay, it's kind of like a, think of it like an anchor is the last one that's in this particular, in this particular file format. The colors that came in here were pink for the cheeks, black for the eyes and the mouth, orange for the nose, and white for the eyes. I'm doing this five times. I only did five colors. The last color in the uh, in this particular pattern is a dark brown 
and it's just little tack spots that you don't you're not supposed to stitch again that's just an anchor for the file itself instead of stitching out pink black orange white 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 i stitched out pink 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 black 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 and you can go into in brilliance essentials and you can resequence the colors on these so that instead of doing 24 color changes with your thread you're only doing four color changes with your thread and that's an awesome thing to do it's a great time saver and it makes you feel kind of savvy that you figured out how to do that so i'm going to show you how to do that here in a minute i have got the uh, 10 by 16 hoop here and this is when you open up in brilliance it will go to the last hoop that you used. So the last hoop I used was this one. That was those little snowmen that we just made or that I had made earlier today. And here's the one I had for the Janome. I was checking that out. So, but anyway, let's go to this. So here I am. Now I'm gonna pull in another snowman and I want to use a PES file. I'm going to use Snowball B. And I am, if you want to know how to get and navigate around in your library, I will link to that below how to create files and, and store all your stuff. Now, there's a lot of different ways you can do this. You can go file, open, you know, you can go file, open, and get to it. Uh, I just kind of do it the easy way. I open up my file explorer, the little folder, and I'm going to grab the snowball and I'm going to drag it in right there. Okay. Now, all of these are designed for a four by four hoop. So let's see how many colors we have in this. This one has pink, dark brown, pumpkin, white, and dark brown. Now, this dark brown right here are the little registration marks that are on the north and south and east and west uh, sides of this thing, okay? I'm not going to stitch those out, so I'm not real worried about that. But what, let's see, what is dark brown? Dark brown is the eyes and the eyelashes and the smile. I think I'm going to change this to black. All right, so I'm going to go from dark brown. I'm just going to click on the dark brown. I'm going to type in black and do that and tell it okay. There, now it's black. See, it went to black up here. And pumpkin is the nose and then white. And I'm not going to worry about this one. What I want to do is I want to put this guy right over here so that I am, I am paying attention to these crosshairs, all right? When you click this, when you click it, you get crosshairs. Now this, I'm worried about these four points right here, okay? Now come up here at the top. See how it says minus two and seven eighths and five? Five is right. We want this line to be on the five because that's where it's going to go in the hoop. I want this to be minus three. So instead of moving it around and trying to hit it, I'm just going to come up here and do this and hit three and then hit enter. And there we go. It moved perfect. That's exactly where I want it. I want it at minus three and five. Now I've got it highlighted. I'm going to right click and copy and I'm going to right click and paste. It has pasted itself on top of the other one. And I want this one to be at plus three and five. So I'm just going to take away the minus and hit enter. And it has perfectly positioned itself at plus three and five. I click off of it and I'm going to right click paste. I want this to be at, remember I told we count, we're going to count from the middle up and down and from the middle right and left. I want it to be minus three and zero. That's exactly what I want right there. This is working good. And I'll show you guys. So 
here, here's the measuring guide. Here's zero and the minus goes to the left and the positive goes to the right. And here's the zero line right here, see it? And the zero goes positive numbers up and negative numbers down. So I'm gonna go paste again and I want this at plus three and zero. There we go. And one more, I want it at minus three and minus five. That's where I want it, right there. Perfect. Can you guys see how I did that? All right, so now we have everything all lined up. Now, I want to only change colors four times instead of 24 times. So over here in the objects panel, I'm gonna close this up, hit the, the minus, just click it and it'll turn into a plus and it'll collapse everything. And you can tell how things are numbered here, okay? So, first snowman, first stitch. First snowman, second stitch. First snowman, third stitch. See that? So, I'm going to build everything off of the first snowman. I'm not going to mess with any of the fifth stitches. I'm going to leave them right the way they are. So I'm going to highlight, I want to do all the pink at once. If you have all of the units of Imbrilliance, there's a easy way. It's an auto sequence and it'll just do it for you, but we don't have that. So we're just going to, I'm going to click this. Don't, don't click on the letter. You want to click on the letters once, but if you click it again, it's, it, it's like you could rename it. I don't want to do that. So I'm going to click off, click the letters once and then hover over the, the image and you want to grab it and you're going to drag it to on top of the one that you want it to go below so there it is now first snowball first stitch is this pink thing over here you can see it's highlighted too see that here's this one there's number two now I'm going to do all of the second snowman first. So let me grab the face, click it on the picture and drag it up and put it right over the top of the other one and it will become number two. And then I'm going to grab the nose, grab it and drag it up, set it on top of it and it goes underneath. And then I'm going to grab the eyes grab the picture, put it on top of it, and let go. All right, now I'm not gonna mess with this. I'm gonna leave that dark brown, leave that last one be, let it be all by itself, and just minimize this, because you need some real estate. I'm gonna open up the third snowman. So if I scroll up, the third one goes away, and the other two, I can't see them from here. So what you do is you click on it and you grab it and you just come up and just hover over the top one and it will move. And then set it on top of the one you want it to go underneath. And there we go. That's what we want. And we're going to keep doing that to all of these. Click the face, grab it, drag it, hover. There we go. Nose, grab it. Now I can see that one. And if you put it in the wrong place, just grab it and move it. Eyeballs. I want them right there. Perfect. Okay. I'm not going to mess with that last little anchor stitch. I'm going to minimize that. Let me go to four. Grab the pink, hover over the top one until it starts to scroll. Put it over the last one so it jumps below it. There we go. You guys are going to be computer wizards by the time you're done with this. See, if you go up too high, you'll get the little red circle. Just hover over, just hover over it and it'll move.
Okay, and one more, number five. You can certainly do these all one at a time if you want, but I'm not doing that. Okay, all done. So now, technically, it will go through all of the entire sequence of everything, and then it's going to, if you wanted to stitch out that last, those registration marks, it'll do that one, then it'll do this one, which is what it's supposed to do. So you don't want to mess with that last one, okay? Now, how do we make sure that it's going to stitch out right? Well, in Brilliance has a really cool feature that's even in the basic and essentials and it's right up here and this is a stitch simulator so click this and you just I've got mine this is a speed control you can go slow or you can go fast I'm just gonna click the play button right here and watch okay we're doing pink perfect now we're gonna do black look at that how about that that's cool So now we know, you can tell up here in the top, here's the pink, here's the black, it's going to switch to the orange, and then it's going to go to the white. This is how you can make sure you got your color changes in, uh, right. Your sequencing is correct. All right, next nose. Yep. If your sequencing isn't correct, you're going to come over here and figure out what happened. And it's all done. Perfect. That's going to work. I'm ready to go to the machine. So I'm going to go edit. Nope. I'm going to go to utility. Sent to Solaris XP1. If you don't have a baby lock Solaris or a brother, uh, the XP1, that's the Luminaire, you're going to go file file save stitch file as and you will save it okay and you would save it to your USB if you have a different it uses a different file format click here here's all of the file formats and you would need to look in your manual to find out which file format your machine uses but I don't have to do that utility sent to Solaris XP1 I need to name it I'm going to call it Snowball 2 Ball B. File sent to machine. Okay.